Today is Monday, March 8th. Good afternoon, GC. I'm Israel Carr. And I'm Heather McAllister. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Let's get into the news. This is GCTV. Expect tomorrow's schedule to be a bit different. That's because many of you will be taking the ACT here at GCHS. Check your Schoology page for your grade to see where you are reporting tomorrow morning. If you need more information, ask one of your teachers or see a guidance counselor. A quick reminder to anyone on the GC fishing team, there is a meeting at 3.30 after school today. That meeting is happening in the library at the middle school, not here at the high school. It will be over at 4.15. Picture Makeup Day is this week. This will be the last chance to get your pictures taken. It's on Thursday, March 11th. You'll be called during your English class to get that done. Congratulations to our fine arts department. Their spring concert aired over the weekend. The SS Ingalls Cruise, it had a ton of views in the short amount of time of it was shown. So great job to everyone involved for putting on a great show. Grades for the last nine weeks will be posted by Wednesday afternoon. We do want to remind you that you or your parents or guardians can check those grades anytime on Infinite Campus. If they aren't sure how to do that, they need to speak to someone at the board office during normal business hours. And now, your three-day forecast. Hey, GC. It's Kobe Allen to deliver your sports update. First, let's recap what happened this weekend right here at the Eagle's Nest. Shouts out to our varsity boys for beating Henderson County in a really exciting game Friday night. The JV boys unfortunately came up short. The girls took on Bowling Green High School on Saturday, a very strong team in the state. The JV girls played first but also came up short. That was their first loss of the season. The varsity girls stayed on the Lady Purple Hills for the next game but couldn't grab the lead. That's only their second loss this season. Coming up tonight, the JV and varsity boys will face Ballard Memorial High School here at home. Then tomorrow, the girls and boys play a doubleheader against CFS and McCracken County. All of those games will be streamed right here on YouTube. That's all for GCTV Sports. I'm Kobe Allen. Back to you guys. That's all for today's GCTV. I'm Heather McAllister. And I'm Israel Carr. Have a great day, GC. We'll see you back here tomorrow.